can remember that they're changing my voice like they're remastering the music on YouTube and otherwise. So a lot of you argue that people are supposed to be seen as equal in the eyes of God. That is not correct. The scripture on the screen proves definitively that that's not the case. Christ is a character in the story says that John the Baptist was the greatest of those born of women. To all you so-called Christians, all you white supremacists, all you communists and socialists, are you trying to argue that Christ is wrong in the story and that you're right? You think that your flesh and your privilege and leveraging a system that's for you and by you so to speak, magically makes you greater. Are you trying to argue that we're all equal and that Jesus was wrong to say that? We see the way Paul in his letters structures his church. He puts himself as the head. If they're all equal, why does he put himself as the leader? Because we're not all equal. Now we can look at the groups who argued that we're all equal in the eyes of God and say they don't know what they're talking about. Quite often, they have a church structure, okay, and, and pretty much every single time they're being told what to do by some kind of hierarchy, yet they're arguing we're all equal. Why? Because they're trying to cheat the righteous. It is a moral order. The stories in Egypt of Set versus Horus. Horus is trying to restore a moral order. Set's trying to restore a merchant, a bootlicker, a rape by deception order, a false order. Neo-colonial. White supremacy, Freemasonry, the English royals, the government. Right? These are false orders. And we can tell by their fruits. When they're in charge, millions of people starve to death every year. When they're in charge, kids get raped at record rates. And on and on and on. Drugging, exploitation, what have you. Eugenics, social engineering. They do despicable things. There's no other way to look at it. 